Hey everyone, Lift Lounge here. In this quick video, I want to show you a really cool effect uh, that is kind of an extension of an effect that I've talked about before, and that is the dolly zoom effect. So this is going to be a dolly zoom effect, but with a rotation added to it, and it kind of adds a little bit more of uh, a dramatic feel. So this image uh, or this video works way better when you have just kind of like a steady shot that's either moving forward or backward. This clip right here is actually moving forward. You can see it's kind of a straight line forward there is more to the clip but I kind of cut it off just about six seconds uh, so it's gonna be going through here and it's gonna be moving forward you can do this with a video that is actually moving backwards as well uh, but you just need to reverse the settings and I'll kind of show you what I'm talking about so we have this video here and what I want to do is do the dolly zoom effect but add that rotation in there to make it more of a vertigo effect so what we're gonna do is click on our clip here we're gonna go to the beginning of our clip and we're gonna go over here to the transform section in the inspector and where it says rotation, we're gonna click the little keyframe uh, button right here to add a keyframe. Now we need to go to the end of our clip and you can just do that by quickly pressing the down key on your keyboard and that will take you to the very end of the clip. And now what we need to do is actually rotate it. So um, you can play with the rotation as much as you want to. The more you rotate it, the more you're gonna to have to zoom in. So if you have a clip that is 1080p and you're working with the 1080p project, you're gonna lose a little bit of quality there. Uh, if you have a 4K clip and you're using 1080p as your project, you're gonna get a little bit more flexibility. For this one, I'm going to do around 10 to 11%. Now you can see we have an issue here with the uh, uh, boundary boxes. Uh, we're, we're a little bit outside of our, uh, of our project here. So what we need to do is actually scale this up. So uh, under the scale all, we're just gonna increase that. Uh, I'm gonna increase it just so I don't see those boxes. You can even go over here and do a 100% view. And you can see we have no boxes here. So that was basically adding that uh, that spin, that rotation. It's a very slight rotation, but it actually adds a cool little effect. Now what we need to do is add the dolly zoom. And if you are, uh, if you've seen the other tutorial, which I'll link in the description down below, uh, the dolly zoom is a very, very easy effect to add. You just basically click on your uh, project here, go to your crop tool, click on Ken Burns, and here is where you're gonna set where you want your uh, either your, your dolly zoom to either zoom in or out. So our clip is moving forward, so we need to have our start be in the, uh, the inside here, where it says start and then end. If you have a clip that's moving backward, you basically just need to click this uh, reverse button here, this inverse, and it's gonna have your start moving out and then moving in. But ours is moving inward, so we're gonna have our start be inside the boundary box here. And we're just gonna click uh, right around here, and you can play with this as well to your liking and click done so now it's going to start in the middle and then uh, kind of uh, do a Kim Burns effect outward and there we go so that being said this is our effect right here So a pretty cool little effect. You can really use this to uh, add a lot of interest to your drone shots. This doesn't have to be a drone uh, drone shot that uh, has to be applied to, but uh, those typically work a little bit better. It can obviously be handheld as well. So hope you guys enjoyed that quick tutorial on the kind of vertical vertigo dolly zoom effect. Uh, be sure to check out LutzLounge.com for other tutorials, uh, cool color grading LUTs, all that fun stuff uh, over at LutzLounge.com. So thank you guys for joining me in this video and I'll catch you in the next one.